Did you know that Mary Walton minimized air pollution and noise pollution during the Industrial Revolution? In New York City, it was really filthy. She made this device that would clean up the air pollution and take it into the city's sewage systems. After she cleaned up New York City, she was like, wow, this town is really noisy. So I don't know if you knew this, but a long time ago, trains had these trolleys and they would play against each other. So one day she was working in her basement and she experimented with this toy train and she used it to minimize the sound. So now New York City, well, it's still loud, but it's not as loud. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> Did you know Emily Warren Roebling was responsible for the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge? Roebling's husband was the chief engineer. After he got sick, she took over for him because she read his notes and she learned how to be an engineer from him and she completed the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge. Did you know that Ellen Henrietta Swallow Richards was the founder of home economics and the first woman admitted to MIT? And she did not get her PhD in chemistry because the MIT professors did not want to give the first PhD in chemistry to a woman, which is wrong. Did you know Olive Dennis was the first female member in the American Railway Engineering Association? In 1920, Olive was, um, she was hired as a draftsman in the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. So she worked as um, a service engineer. And she also helped with a lot of the air conditioning, the lighting, and the reclining, uh, the reclining seats for each individual passenger. So the next time you're on a train or a subway or an airplane and you're reclined in your seat with AC blowing on your face, just think, all of Dennis made that happen.